It is now another day down here in the Smokies. Uh, we just got up a bit ago and then had breakfast. And if you want to see the kind of breakfast that we had, go back and check out the review that I did on this place right here, Country Cascades. And just go be sure to check out that video. But, uh, we're heading out now, looking for some more fun. So come with us. Now we're going to be riding up to uh, Gatlinburg. We're going to be going through the park or part of the park and uh, just enjoying the day. You can kind of see it is turning out to be very nice. Of course, today is Monday at the time I'm recording this. The traffic down here in Pigeon Forge, as you can see, there is hardly anybody out. I think that uh, coming down through the weekdays is uh, going to be our new favorite way of coming down just because it is so light. Just like when we were at Dollywood yesterday, the traffic uh, the people there the crowd was light and uh, you know you didn't have really a long wait on any of the rides and just we had a good time Guys, this is just going to be a drive through of Gatlinburg. Uh, just going to be riding through, filming some of the stuff. Uh, we don't really think that we're going to be stopping, but we're just going to ride through the town, show you what it looks like currently with all the changes and stuff like that. Of course, if you've ever been down here much, you know that there are uh, regular changes to Gatlinburg. You can see here. It cleared out all this through here and in preparation to build something new, you know, build more attractions. This used to be about where the original Cooters was, kind of that general area back years ago. If any of you guys remember that, let me know down in the comments below. this big hillside here to the left they've had to uh, redo that retaining wall back I'm not sure how many years ago that it's been but I mean literally you don't want the side of a mountain coming down on top of you Those of you all who are Blake Shelton fans, that's some place I'm sure that you'd be interested in.
Margaritaville Resort. There's the aquarium over to the right. And for those of you guys who are interested in Anakista, here the entrance is to the left. And that gets you on the chairlift to go up to Anakista. They also do have a uh, like a shuttle service, I believe, getting up there now, where uh, you can just ride instead of taking the chairlifts. There's Mountain Mall up here to the right, just over here. All kinds of interesting shops and things like that in there. Music store, uh, guitar store, just all kinds of novelty shops and things go in and out of there all the time. Up here to the left is where the uh, entrance to the village is. And that's something that if you ever come down here, you really need to check it out. It's a, uh, basically, just look up the village online and uh, you'll get a better idea of what's in there. That entrance is right over there to your left. You can see it there and uh, all kinds of little shops, things like that. Now, something that you'll notice right in front of us is a side-by-side. And down here in Tennessee and in Gatlinburg, you can ride your side-by-side -side on the highway. As long as they are street legal, uh, you know, with lights and, in, and things like that, then uh, you should be able to ride them. They do offer side-by-sides for rental down here as well. There's Treasure Quest, just all kinds of different attractions. You can see the Space Needle up there to the left. There is just all kinds of places to eat. You can also see over on the left as well. There's more construction going on down here. Things down here are always changing. You know, there are just shops coming in and going all the time down here. I mean, uh, if you don't visit for a year or so, when you come back down, there will be something new. You can see here, there's an arcade. You can see some of the attractions over there. To your left, you can see some. Uh, the chicken guy, if, uh, those are Guy Fieri fans, things like that, the restaurants up here. You can see there the chicken guy restaurant and just all up through here, just different shops, just different everything. Skyline Park, looks like they're redoing. Looks like they're redoing a lot of this area here. There is one of the many places that uh, for moonshine right here. Sugarlands Moonshine, just right there on the right. On up you will see on the right, uh, you will see Old Smokey. There's also different shops over on the left as well. We'll try to pay a little more attention to those when we're coming back down. Another ATV, Polaris, and right down through there, there's a winery. You've got on up here, of course, just little shops everywhere. The one challenge down here is parking. You can pay to park, it can be expensive or cheap, just depending on what you're used to paying in your area. Uh, a lot of the places that used to let you park very cheaply are gone out. Uh, it used to be you could go down to what was uh, Christ in the Smokies and park down there for like five bucks all day, but uh, they are, uh, they've gone up and plus they're rechanging that whole area. They've torn the building down and everything. Old time photos. Hotels, there's Obergatlinburg where you can ride a chairlift up to over Gallenberg or a tram and uh, that way you can go up and see all the attractions up there of course you can drive up there as well it's been several years but we'd actually drove up there seen the bears you can feed the bears but uh, most of them, at least when we were there the bears were uh, good fat and happy so they didn't have a lot of thought for the food that we would throw out to them they used to have a Texas Roadhouse down here but uh, they had closed it down 
they're redoing it not sure what they're gonna put there but it was right there now this place right here is great Crockett's breakfast camp I've got a review on my channel go back and check it out it is well worth the trip but be ready to wait if you come down on the weekend and of course going on up you could go on up and uh, you know you takes you on up into the park you can go down through here there's a walking trail the Gatlinburg trail that will lead you down it's about a four mile, four mile hike and it will take you over to Sugarland Welcome Center this this road here is one that will take you to over Gatlinburg stay on this road will take you right up there Here's the trailhead right there. It's a nice little walk. It's easy. Uh, again, it's four miles. So, you know, if, you, if you're not able to walk that distance, uh, you probably wouldn't want to try that one. But, uh, you know, you can do it in sections or just whatever. Now we're just going to turn around and go back down the other side of Gatlinburg. Now we're going to ride down the other side. Many years ago, I remember when this place here was actually an O'Charlie's. It's some kind of a shop now, but it was quite interesting eating up there back when it was O'Charlie's. Uh, you got to watch out for pedestrians here because, you know, the crosswalks here, it's kind of customary for people to stop and let pedestrians walk through. There used to be a camera shop right over here to the right. Used to know the owners. We used to talk to them when uh, we would come down. Fortunately, they went out several years ago. Uh, they dealt with a lot of like film and stuff like that, but they did have a lot of the digital stuff as well. There is Calhoun's, Cherokee Grill, you know, just all kinds of restaurants. Howard's, Jim Mine, just all kinds of little shops. A leather shop. There is a pancake cabin, and they get some real good food in there. We ate there back uh, a few trips back. We ac actually ate there. Shoney's. Now the Shoney's was out for a while, but then they brought it back into this location, so it's kind of a good thing that they did. If you are a Shoney's fan, this is the convention center. They are always having big events here. Uh, kid fest looks like what's going on now but during Christmas time during uh, Christmas time they will uh, have different events they'll have like festivals of trees and things like that where different places will set up and decorate big Christmas trees star cars if uh, you like vehicles that have been in movies that's the place you need to go you can see the mini Herbie. They used to have a full-sized Herbie there. Haunted Adventures. There's the Space Needle. Getting down to Ripley's. Ripley's, believe it or not. Yep. Any Ann's. Another winery. Old Smoky Candies. <clears throat> Old time photos. Funnel cakes. Leather goods. off you can see all the little shops back over in that area there as well as up on top of the hill yeah another winery they like their wine down here wine and moonshine ogles uh, yeah you need to stop there 
Here is Old Smokey's the uh, whiskey location, the whiskey distillery. The Moonshine Distillery is back up on the other side, which we passed earlier. All sauced up. You can get all kinds of your hot sauces and stuff there. Ben and Jerry's. you got uh, Chocolate Monkey, if you're a chocolate fan. Beef Jerky. Again, all these coffee shops. Lemonade stand. Here's the entrance to the village. And I've got videos showing more detailed about some of the things that goes on in there. And uh, so go back and check those out on the channel. Ranger Bob's Trading Post. Just all the way down. Coffee Shack. And uh, you can smell the leather coming from some of the leather shops here too. Unfortunately, we don't have smell-o-vision or smelling videos or anything like that. But uh, it has a unique smell because of things like that. And again, here we are coming into where Anakista is. It's the entry to Anakista. And you can see there's quite a line there already but uh, so that is a become a very popular attraction down here that's where Cooters used to be years ago but now they have moved as well old log cabin Gatlinburg Brewing Company. There's actually a Mexican grill we ate there a while back during a previous trip. It's pretty good food. Reasonably priced too. Now there's some places down here when you go to eat they are kind of expensive. If you're on more budget minded then uh, you can find places like that that will fit your budget too. Trout House. And continuous construction work. Hillbilly Golf is down here on the right. You can see it right there. Another popular attraction. And for everybody that wants to know where that famous car is that everybody shares on Facebook right there. That's where he parks at. That guy has owned that business for years. I remember many years ago some other vehicles that he has had and uh, you know that's just kind of a trait down here for people to come they'll stop take a picture of that car uh, for whatever reason that's you know his business he lives above it and uh, he parks his car right there it's always there and you can kind of see here this uh, side of the mountain where they have had to do a bunch of work you can see that they've got netting there now just because of rock slides and stuff like that. Even in Gatlinburg, the traffic is lighter. Flapjacks, pretty good place to eat. Again, I've got a channel, I've got a video on them on my channel, so go back and check them out. Cabin rentals, and now we're heading back down into the park and back down to Pigeon Forge. Here we go, driving through the tunnel. You can tell it's springtime down here because everything is just as green as can be. Okay guys, we are now coming into Pigeon Forge.